you can see his head stays down towards the ball. My physical therapist that I go to is like, you have no ability to your hips. <laughs> Yeah. I just realized I've been shifting my weight in the golf swing incorrectly this entire time. And today we are going to be using technology with Golf Tech in order to figure out how to do that properly. Not only that, we are going to be sharing some tips in order to apply proper lag and wait till the end where we talk about the approaches on long irons and short irons and if there's any difference between that. And so with that, without wasting time, let's get into it. Typically, when we tend to overswing, that right foot is going to lift up pretty quickly. Yeah. You could use a slight bit more tilt to the right. Hip sway is where we want it. Here's Rory. So there's that hip bump with the right there. You can see his head stays down towards the ball while we're lifting, and everything's kind of rotating with the head there. So um, I want you to feel like you're doing that same move. Keep the head down and let it come up with that right shoulder as it's passing by. So if you watch Rory here, that right shoulder and the head are there, and then both start moving together. All right. What were you saying about the more to the right? Which way you're talking about? So here's both of you guys at the top. See how his shoulders, and it's hard to see quite that angle. The shoulders start tilting to the right. You're talking about his, uh, this yeah. side. So that left shoulder's down. He's starting to tilt the shoulders right as he starts the downswing. You're not quite moving as fast in that direction, but you are getting to that right tilt at impact. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's what we're talking about. Okay. So head down, come up with... right. I'm going to put this just off of that ear. I'll pull it out of the way as you're coming through. Give me one second. All right, go ahead and swing when you're ready. That was really solid right there. That felt good. Okay. I think I'm just not uh, flexing my wrist more. Is that why it's kind of going all the way to the right all the time? It's kind of open. So yeah, if you watch, so like right here, that's decent lag. We could have a little bit better at that point. Yeah. It's releasing a little bit early in here, and then that right hand does start to come through a little bit through impact there, where ideally we don't let that right hand pass the left hand as much right there at impact. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. right now I'm basically going this, whereas I need to kind of just keep this. You're there at impact. It's just slowly happening where it's the right hand's passing that left hand a little bit. Gotcha. So I, I see like all the people kind of going, and then it ends up being like the other way throughout their follow through. Like if you look at Rory's club face right there, it's in the same position as yours. So here you can see hands right in front of the club head there. Yeah. Right here is where the, the hand starts flipping. So when the arms are starting to get parallel, we want to see a little bit of that left hand. Um, so you're doing a good job of that point, we just need to keep a little bit more through impacts. I see. Because I'm like, it's like infinitesimal of parallel yeah. this, but because of that, it's yeah. going that way. Okay. So, in order to kind of alleviate that, rather than, I'm just basically holding this and I'm just going to rotate more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, for the physical, or my physical therapist that I go to every week, I okay. just like, you have no ability your hips. <laughs> so, really gotcha. A lot of, yeah. Once you get set, just open your hips a little bit. Uh, this way. Yeah. Head set up? Yeah. Like this. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So I should feel more the way here. Yeah, I mean, so this is, this is not how we're going to yeah. be every time. This is just opening the hips to help them clear a little bit more so you can get that feeling going through. That was pretty decent hip turn on that one. Did that feel like you could clear the hips out a little bit easier on that? Yeah, I think I still felt a little bit not lagging as much, but... So on this one, I want you to same thing, focus on keeping that right heel down longer. Okay. I've kind of went up, kind of opening this hip up a little bit, like mm -hmm. going toward, and at this point here, is it just 
Uh, I'm kind of just going down here, or am I rotating more? Or where's the... Yeah, so as we're getting into here mm -hmm. to here, we're rotating that upper body and the, the lower body through. At impact, it should kind of feel like we're pushing it out to the right. Okay. When I don't bring this up, it's hard for me to... Yeah. Turn. So... So like pushing it up. So, so that's where we're trying to basically use that pushing forward. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to turn the hips by doing this. Yes. And we're trying to turn the hips by doing this. Mm -hmm. So it should feel almost like that right hip is going. So get up to the top of the swing. So the right hip should feel like it's going straight down the line and that left hip is opening back behind you there. Like Just that. like that. So that's how you open the hips, rather keeping that right foot on the ground longer, rather than when you lift that right heel, that pulls you in, but you're not actually turning. You're gonna to turn to a certain point there, but then stop as we just swing through. Oh. That's different, that's different. It almost feels like you're just pushing your hips like away from the ball. Yeah, it is kind of that feeling that you're talking about when you're pitching. I mean, if you think about, I mean, when you're pitching, you're trying to get the lower body moving in that direction, upper body's back here, and then it's all getting just dragged behind, right? Yeah. Like a pitcher's not trying to throw hard with their, their arm. It's, it's all lag that's creating that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go grab something real quick. I suck. I suck. He had to leave the CD. He said, I'm useless. I'm just kidding. I want you to set up with that in front of your left foot. All right, I want you to hit the ball and the ball marker. Oh. Keep the hands out in front of the club longer to be able to do that. Each time we do this drill, I want you to move the ball back a little bit and a ball marker back a little bit until it gets to the place that we normally set the ball up. So this is gonna help force you into this position and really get you where we want. Cause when we look at like the last bowl swing that we had here, we're not in a bad position. You're just letting the, the club head pass the hands right through there. That compared to that right there is gonna be the key. Give me a full swing on this next one. Put this one a little bit more kind of where it would normally go in your stance. You can get rid of the ball marker on this one. Just a normal shot. That is pretty much right where we want to be through there. So the only thing that is kind of not where we would ideally want it is our hips are a little bit more swayed towards the target than we would want and our hips are not quite open enough. So getting them opening rather than swaying there, but this is a really solid position right here. You definitely are continuing out with the hands quite a bit. So I want you to try and release this this one and get to that full kind of finish position. And do it like a real hop. Yeah. Okay. To get everything except for the hips exactly where we want there, it's pretty solid. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give me a, a full swing on this one. Yeah, that foot didn't even come off the ground for the fall through. Yeah, I know. The main keys are going to be pushing from more from that like right instep and right heel and feeling that your right hip kind of moving down the line towards the target rather than in towards the ball at all. And we're still clearing out with that left leg extending there, but then that that drill keeping the hands out in front of the the ball a little bit more at impact. So progression here. Yeah. Is when I'm pushing out, am I pushing like just this way? Yeah. Or is it like this way? Yes. That way. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like <laughs> it's not like this. Yeah. It's, it's more like this. Yeah, that should kind of be opening that way. Yeah, because and that might be a little bit more you're sliding 
too much towards the target and that's preventing you from opening it. So you're doing more of this rather than that. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Okay. But it's looking good. Any other questions about the deck? Um, I think the only thing is like, I, I'm assuming it shouldn't be different. Yeah. Like a nine and a seven. Yeah, go ahead and grab the seven and let's take a look at what that's looking like. Alright, go ahead and get set up again. I want you to straighten the knees a little bit, stick the butt out a little bit more. Alright, yeah. Go ahead and give me another swing like that. Yeah. Right, give me one more swing. Feel um feel more lag in the wrist. Don't don't try and don't try and hit it hard. So nice easy swing. So here's the nine iron, here is the seven iron. With the nine iron, if you watch your right elbow, see how much closer it's staying to the body? Mm -hmm. And we're definitely keeping that left wrist in flexion. Right elbow staying in close to the body. This one, that there's definitely a gap between the right elbow and the body there. So you're starting to push more out that way. It's not that bad, but we want to be here. And with the longer irons, you're starting to get more like that. Yeah. Um, so that's typically a sign of trying to overswing and you're trying to hit the ball more with your arms rather than swinging the club through. Feel better? Yeah. So you're supposed to be standing a little farther with the seven and nine or? Each club we should be getting progressively a little bit farther back from it. So this one's definitely better if we watch that right elbow in there. You can still see a little bit of flipping out with that right we're pushing out with the right hand there. Ideally at this position, we are more in like right in there coming in rather than pushing that hand out across. So I'm doing ball. this instead of doing this. Yeah. And the, the way to get to that ball, if I do this, is just rotating it. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at, at Rory here, right in there like that, in the impact and you're coming more out across it. You guys actually both get that right elbow a little bit away from the body there. So main things to kind of just work on for next time is... The right drill. foot on the ground yeah. and that continue working on keeping the hands in front of the, the club head there at impact. And then also just kind of going this yeah. way rather than kind of like swing. Yeah. And then do you see where that right knee is compared to yours? He's more down the line and kind of clearing the hips out where your right leg goes more inward and that's that right foot lifting up again. Oh, I see. So I'm kind of just trying to do yeah. that instead of do this, yeah. keeping it more tangential. So look. like if you look at the, the right feet right there, that's one of the big differences. Yeah. And then, so the weight should never be away from the heel and the instep on that right foot. We don't want any weight like out on that. It's okay for that outside of the right foot to be up off the ground at impact. We just don't want it that way off, off the ground. We don't want to see that whole heel lifting up towards um, the ball that way. As he's pushing off that foot, he's pushing forward. Yep. That heel's starting to lift, but it's more pulling him in that direction. And then that foot gets to that vertical position there where yours rolls out more to the outside that way because of how much we're lifting and rolling it I see. there. So it's pretty much when I'm going this way. It's just absolutely. getting pulled up off the ground rather like than- this, rather yeah. than like this. Exactly. Classic me just trying to come it looks like <laughs> again. And just classic me. Classic me being horrible at all. <laughs> the last thing is the, the rotation of the body, the upper body yeah. here, when I'm pushing here is when am I just kind of like, Going all the way. So we want the upper body getting dragged through by the lower body swing through. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Cool. Good work today. Awesome, man. I'll see, see you uh, Wednesday. Yep. Cool. And that is a wrap for this video. And I just wanted to thank everyone so far who's joined the journey. Not only have I loved learning golf, learning from these coaches, but also engaging with everyone in this YouTube community. Everyone's been so helpful, just dropping comments and tips and 
it's been a blast just interacting with all of you. And so hopefully you guys can drop a like. It would mean the world to me. In every video, we put blood, sweat, and tears in order to give you the highest quality possible on YouTube. Uh, and it's been fun doing so. And so hopefully you guys stay tuned, subscribe, and hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Little lovey-dovey.